What up, everyone? Welcome back to Rule of Two. We're here. We're chilling. We've got Mark Fernandez in the booth as usual. Yo, what up? But not uh, not as usual. I'm actually uh, I'm actually back in LA, so yeah, I'm no longer. Yeah, I'm no longer in Florida. Yeah, I'm no longer in Florida. I'm back in LA um, and um, stoked, stoked to be here and uh, yeah. I'm actually gonna get new cameras soon, so it doesn't look so fucked. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but anyway, f bomb in the uh, first this... 17 seconds, baby. Damn, broke the record, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what up, everybody? Uh, what's going on, everyone? Hope you're having a good day. Today we're gonna talk about a bunch of different st stuff. But I can't talk either. A bunch of different things, and um, we figured, you know, let's talk. Well, first of all, I want to talk about the Mando Gallery that is on Disney Plus. I also want to, we're going to talk about top five characters we each want to see in Star Wars movies. And then yep. we'll see where the stream goes. We can continue on like a topic where we go off of. You guys can chime in. We're eventually also going to get you guys calling into the show where we can talk to you all. Um, so one, one idea I had earlier was to have um, some people who really enjoyed The Last Jedi to call in and explain to me why and explain to all of you why they really love all you know why they love the last jedi and then me explain my points why i had a problem with it and then i think that would be interesting in a cordial manner i think that would be fun to see for a lot of people um, i think it'd be awesome to take calls uh we used to take calls on rule of two and it was a lot a lot of fun yeah. and it's funny when you take calls you always think oh man we're gonna get a lot of jerks call in and saying stupid stuff mm -hmm. we never did you know everybody was always super cool when they would call so yeah. I i'm dying to take some calls um if, if any of you folks have ideas of how we can do calls from quarantine, because um, I'm not in the studio and I don't got my engineers uh, with me right now. If you guys have ideas of how Theory and I remotely can take calls, please comment below. Let us know um, how to do it, you know, because add be everyone cool. on Skype or something like that. Everyone can just add us on Skype and then, you know. So the way that I would do it was that, you know, we'd put up a phone number and you can literally call it and then you can somehow patch that number in and yeah, then cool. disconnect it. I, I just don't know how you. we actually did it. I did that with you. Remember? Yeah. 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 We did yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, if I, it, you know, anyway, for all the geniuses out there in the chat and in the comments, if you know how to do it, help us out, you know? Yeah. We're, we're like... Theory and I are so focused on the argy bodgy these days yeah. that, you know, that that's all we think about is how many kills we're going to get in COD. Um, right. So that's something we want to talk about is not COD, but we're going to talk about that. And the stream could end up, you know, in stuff that you guys bring up or we could end up, you know, even playing Battlefront 2 with you guys or whatever. It might just go anywhere. So sit back, chill and uh, join the discussion with us. So Logan says Darth Plagueis. And yeah, of course, that's going to be one of the first ones that we have on the list as well. I want to see Kyle Katarn and Jan Ors and Lorenzo. Thank you. And uh, Lopez Zoom or Discord or Skype. Yeah, we could do that, I guess. Probably Ooh, so, Discord would be good, man. Discord's the one. That's the one. Discord could be that. fun. huh? I didn't even think of that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so so what'd you think? Uh, what'd you think about uh, Dave Filoni's comments about Qui-Gon? I thought it was really interesting. I'll give my thoughts, but I want to hear yours. It was the most eloquent, detailed, and articulate speech on Star Wars I have seen anyone ever give, ever, mm. in the history of giving speeches on Star Wars. <laughs> Look, I, I, I got to admit, he I've gets never... It, man. He gets Star Wars. That, that, that man should be running all of the stories behind Star Wars, I think. Not only does he get Star Wars, but he also respects Star Wars. And look, you made a you made a tweet that might be a little controversial, but to me, I totally a thousand percent agree with you. And it really it kind of irritated me when when I heard a lot of people say, "Oh, the Clone Wars validates the prequels," um, and that kind of stuff really really pisses me off because to me, I see it the opposite way. I think without the prequels, the Clone Wars can't even be w worth watching. You know, function. The, the, yeah. Yeah, the prequels give the Clone Wars the platform to jump off of to be the great series that it is. Um, but to see Dave Filoni talk about Qui-Gon as Anakin's father figure and Anakin's biggest failure as a character is not having that guidance from a father figure. And that's ultimately what he loses. And that's why George calls it the duel of the fates. Yeah. Because the fate of Anakin Scott, like... I never saw it that way, but Me either. Yeah. 
that's what they're fighting over in that fight with Darth Maul, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, they are fighting over the fate of Anakin Skywalker, you know? And it makes perfect sense now because if you look back, his last words are train the boy. Yeah. You know, like that's his last request to him. Yeah. And that's what he wanted to do was be a father to that boy and he couldn't be. So Obi-Wan's left to be a brother to to Anakin. Well, yeah, Um, Obi-Wan didn't even care. He was the whole time as... Dave said even he's just like oh we just picked up another pathetic life form right right it's really interesting man what a it what is, yeah. what an inc- I'm gonna cover it more uh just by itself I'm gonna try to show the clip tomorrow if I can we'll see if I can get around that but uh anyways um that was definitely the coolest part I don't know why they call it Disney gallery though it should be called the Lucasfilm gallery anyways whatever I told you that the mouse is <laughs> taking over <laughs> told you to come to this uh, zoom so we can see our faces. Okay, yeah, so we'll do Zoom or we'll do Discord. Maybe we could do that next time. Maybe we will do it today. I don't know. Some of you guys are already in my uh, gaming chat, gaming Discord because I closed the other one. All right, Mark, you want to go over your top five? Yeah, man. Um, you do one, I'll do one, as, as you said. This was your idea. Yeah, so. yeah. So number five for me of characters that I would want to see in a Star Wars movie or, or, or just in live action. I don't give a crap. Yeah. Um, for me, number five, because I have such incredible memories of reading about that character and the relationship she had with Luke Skywalker. For me, number five is the hand of the Emperor, uh, Mara Jade. Yep. That'd be you know, a and cool thing to see. And then they could go back with back in time and they could show the Emperor. They could show, you know, they could bring all those characters back. Yeah. And, and it's just like. You know, she also had a purple lightsaber, actually, Um, you know, and uh, this was, you know, really, really old school stuff. But what what's really interesting for me and like I think I talked about this a little bit on the show before is that Mara Jade uh, was raised by the emperor. So the emperor talking about fathers and daughters and sons and stuff, the emperor was like her father. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's all she knew was the emperor Mm -hmm. and Luke Skywalker effectively killed not killed the emperor but was the catalyst for the emperor dying yeah so she holds all this hatred towards luke skywalker that eventually turns into love and friendship um and to me it's one of the most interesting stories that i've ever read about star wars granted i haven't read a lot of star wars books but i love the zon trilogy and i've read it a bunch of times I highly, highly recommend it if you've never read the Zon trilogy. It was actually the first novels that came out about Star Wars um, after uh, that big lull where we didn't really have a lot of Star Wars content back in those days. And it's such a, such a good book. It's in the second book that you really get to know her. Um, And even though I've always heard that George Lucas didn't particularly like her, I don't know if that's even true or not, but that's always been the rumor that I've heard. But I personally would love to see Mara Jade as my number five characters in Star Wars. Cool. The next one I'm going to take is... This is your number five? Well, it's my number one, but you you have it on your list too. No, no, Uh, just go to your number five, dude. (laughs) Don't don't go straight to number one. (laughs) I didn't didn't number them. Uh, All right, let's put Nihilus. Let's put Nihilus in there. I think it would just be cool to see him. He's just a very powerful... Okay, you know what? No, let's put Vitiate. Let's put Vitiate in there, Valkorian. So oh, school me. I'm not sure I know who that is. Okay, so I don't know all that much about him either, but I know that he was the emperor. Do um, you remember the the, the sons? Arkan. The sons. Um, you remember the oh, old, Re- old Republic, the sons. So he was the. Oh, the twins. The, yeah, the twins. Yeah, the twins. Oh, so the father. Was, he was the father. Yeah. So oh, the he, father's a great character. So he is like ultimately powerful. Some even argue he's more powerful than Palpatine. And he ruled for a longer time, too. So I just got chills. Yeah, he's a great yeah. character. He also has a daughter who's super powerful also. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was two sons and a daughter. Okay. And uh, the daughter actually uh, exceeds the power of the sons. Um, but he's a really interesting character. His name is what? Valkorion. Vitiate. Valkorion. Yeah, he's got a bunch of different yeah, names. Yeah. yeah, he's a great character. You never even see him use a lightsaber, but he's one of no, those force wielders. He's one of those force wielder dudes. It's just like insane. 
So he'd yeah. be up there. Yeah. I think he would be really cool. And then we would like go into the arc of his whole his sons and all that. And the twin. I just thinking to take the old Republic, all those cinematics, and make them into movies. Um, what's your number four? All right, who would play him? A little casting thing there. Hugh Jackman would be kind of cool, but like a Logan. Oh, that's Hugh a Jackman. good one. That's a good one, dude. Who would play Mara Jade? Some folks actually gave us some good ideas about that last time. Um, remember, uh, they yeah, they mentioned. Yeah, some, I forgot the name though. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Gillen Anderson or something like that, or Gillen yeah, something. Some, something. Um, I put Scarlett Johansson, but that's that's just. I don't really think she's yeah, probably the best. Yeah, that's a good one. She, I don't know if she's the best fit. I just find her attractive. That's, that's about it. Yeah, I mean, Scar, Scar Joe, Scar Joe is the best. All right. So for my number four, because this is the last book that I read, and, you know, this is the namesake of our of our show, my next one would be I'd love to see Darth Bane. Okay. I, th- I think Man Darth Bane. Would, yeah, I think Darth okay. Bane would be awesome. And, uh, you know, one thing I love about Darth Bane's character, ha- have you read the Bane book? I've read the, I've listened to the audio book. Okay. So, so like, I'm not sure how familiar you are, or how much you remember it, but not much. Um, <laughs> I love the story of how he kills his father. Okay. And tell me about it wasn't, it. it wasn't until, so he's training to become a, a Sith and he doesn't, I mean, he's older, right? So he, he starts training when he's much older. Mm-hmm. And um, and he's 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 doing pretty good in school school, killing people and he's like the tough guy, and um, he's got he has a realization um, when he starts to realize the potential of his force powers that he killed his father when he was young, and his whole life he's been living with this regret and this like angst of how his father died mysteriously and not really understanding having unresolved issues with the death of his father. And it wasn't until much later on that he realized that in your anger, you know, like he you killed. killed yeah. In, in his anger, he killed his father and he didn't realize that for 15, 20 years later. Um, and to me, that kind of character realization really fleshed out Darth Bane for me. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what he taps into. That's the anger that he taps into when he wants to become, you know, when he wants to kick people's ass. Um, and I, and to me, it's fascinating. I've, I haven't read the second book. I've heard the second book is great also. Um, but for me, Darth Bane um, is my second choice. And my casting for Darth Bane would be Tom Hardy. Okay. You, you don't see Hardy as Tom uh, we'd have to pick a powerful bald man for that. Yeah, uh, you can not, play him. Not, not you Vin can play Diesel. Him for... No, no, not, come on, not but, Vin but, Diesel. But you don't uh, think Tom Hardy? You can shave him down. Dude, Tom Hardy is just such a good actor. He is. I don't know. Yes, I, he just doesn't jump out at me. Uh, not The Rock. No, not no, Jason no, Statham. Wait. No way. No. It's a megalodon. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe Tom Hardy. I could see that. Yeah. Remember when he played uh, Bronson? Um, Did you see no, that? No. What in Warrior or whatever it is? No, no. It's like an old one. Who here has seen Bronson? I think that's what it was called. He had a shaved Dave head Bautista and he was a, an he was a fighter one. in jail. Somebody in the chat just said Dave Bautista. That's an interesting one. I just think Dave Bautista is a that. little old. I just think he's a little bit that. old. Yeah. You know, and like if you want to start because like Darth Bane started started his the life that we know him from, he's a he's like a worker in some like like mine thing or construction oh, thing. Oh, Josh Brolin. Too old. Yeah. You know, I mean, Tom Hardy's still that he's still in in, in he could still play 30s, you know? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> what? I'm not reading the comment, but I laughed. Oh god. Oh, uh, Tom Johnny. Hardy is Bane. It's uh, Tom Hardy no, is no. Bane in the Dark Knight. I didn't even think of that. He Jason literally Statham, plays Bane. No. Okay, anyways, so that's your fourth. You want Darth Bane? Um Darth Bane's fourth. I would want 
Oh, they're all so good. So I'd... What was on your list again? I forgot. Or should, should I just say them? So oh, Michael, Michael Marte, Fassbender would be pretty good. Not bad. Michael Fassbender, yeah. He Maybe. would be good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that Darth Bane is jacked, though. Yeah. The, the, like, he is jacked. The way he's this. The way he's described in the novel is that he's a, he's completely jacked. Yeah, he's a bulky dude, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, and like Tom Hardy can play that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I guess. What about Sean Connery? You could play Bane in a fan film, dude. Maybe we should do a fan film where you play Bane. Yeah, maybe. I feel like I'm too short for Bane. Yeah, Bane's like a big dude, you know. But we could He's we like could put you on an apple above box. six feet. Yeah, yeah put me on yeah. an apple box. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Camera angles, baby. Vin Diesel's short. Yeah, is he short? Yeah, I think um, he's only. I think he's like my height. He's only like five ten. Yeah, Darth Bane, man. He's such a cool character, dude. Um, that's a cool book, man. That's a cool book. That's like the last Star Wars book I read. Um. Krusty and uh, Toaster, I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. <laughs> Krusty what? Krusty Toaster one had a funny comment, but I'm not gonna read it. Okay, okay. Um, Christian thing... Bale could be interesting too, man. No, you know who Bale would be great at is uh, Revan. No, Keanu Reeves for Revan. No, you think? Keanu Reeves, dude. Yeah. Neo. Reeves better than better than Bale. Well, good for you. <laughs> He's the one, man. Whoa, dude. Yeah. Um. Okay, fine. Next for me would be uh. Oh wait, but you already chose. You chose all mine. Cape, whatever. Screw, screw you. I'm, I'm gonna do my Malgus. Yeah, it's okay. I want Malgus. Oh, dude, that's my. I've been saving <laughs> that one. I've been saving Malgus. I've okay, been fine, saving let's Malgus. Let's both talk about it. Who cares? Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Hey, talk who about would, it. What... Who, who would you want to portray Malgus? Malgus is a really interesting one, man, because I I know Malgus through Star Wars: The Old Republic, uh, the MMO. Right. right. You know, that's how I got to know Malgus. Yeah. Um, and I always wanted to model my character, uh, Quato. Mm -hmm. um after malgus um mm -hmm. and if we ever play star wars the old republic if we ever stream that you guys will see that my character is kind of modeled after malgus could do it right? today so is mine so is mine. oh really i have his whole yeah, suit I, yeah i love malgus and so malgus who hails from the planet Coriban. um god who's a good malgus you know who i would have played malgus uh uh Come on, chat. Help us out. Yeah, who? who yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch, maybe. Tom Hardy would be a sick Malgus. You think? Benedict Cumberbatch as what? As no. Malgus, you don't think? No, no, no right? No way, Malgus, man. Malgus is older. He's older. Malgus is a bad MF, dude. He is like Vader without the mask and just like the the breathing. Like, dude, he is cool. He does, I mean, not saying Benedict Cumberbatch isn't cool, but he's like very, very, way too dainty. I feel like way too skinny for him. Yeah, you think? Cause, yeah, because Malgus is a little bit thicker. Malgus is going to have also like. Bald. Batista could be could be Malgus. No. I think, no, because no. Batista's too brawny, and Malgus is a little bit more like. Malgus is a little bit more like 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 you said it. He's like Vader, you know. He's he, he's kind of like Vader, right? So he's not. All Henry broad. Cavill. Henry Cavill. As Malgus? With all the makeup and everything? Nah, dude. I don't think that would work. No, Cavill, Cavill's more... Actually, Cavill could be an interesting Bane. Cavill could be an interesting Bane. I could see that. How it starts off, the, where he's got a little bit of hair. Nah, Tom Hardy's Bane. Tom Hardy's Bane. Uh, Crim's Hem Somebody said Chris Hemsworth. Nah, He's too pretty. Too pretty to be Malgus. He's too pretty to be Malgus. And Malgus is, has a British accent. Yeah. Um, I could, I could, I don't know if I could see Cavill. I don't know. I don't know. Cavill's who? one of my favorites, though. Henry Cavill. As, Henry as Cavill? Malgus. Yeah, I don't think so, though. Um, 
Jason Momoa. But what do you like? Nah. What do you like, Malgus? Like, like what? What's your sort of relationship with Malgus? Like, uh, how did you? I, honestly, dude, I just thought he looked really cool. That was it. That was it for yeah. me. Did yeah. Did you ever I'm... play those uh, those operations in Sotor where you get to fight Malgus? No, I didn't even get that far. Yeah, I yeah, played yeah, it when I was cool, a little kid, man. and I started playing it again like it was like six months ago, and then I I just didn't get that far. But yeah. I always I remember reading his lore and looking at his his, his pictures and stuff. I just thought he was like so cool, such a cool he is character. Cool. Yeah, he's just he was like, I feel like he was a cooler version of Vader for the old Republic. Even I just felt like he looked cooler. But what's interesting about him is that he also he he murdered his uh, his master. Yeah, they all so did. his Same master with Palpatine and everything. Like they they all yeah, they're yeah. all weirdos. His master was a Sith. Um, and the Sith is a is a race um, of people, you know. The Sith is like yeah, being Sithari. human or something. Yeah. Yeah. With and the, uh, the, his with, master with the tentacles things. Yeah. W- yeah. With the weird fleshy things coming yeah. out. His master was a uh, was a Sith, and mm-hmm. uh, Malgus is Ma- uh, Malgus is human, mm-hmm. and uh, there's actually an, an amazing cutscene in um, in the very first Star Wars: The Old Republic release. That shows him killing his master. Um, really, really cool stuff, man. That's Malgus cool. is awesome. I can't think of who would play Malgus. It'll Kit Harrington? No, oh, come on, no way. Russell Crowe. Okay. Russell Crowe. Okay. Who said that? Who Someone said that? Said that. Type who one said in the that? chat. Type one. Who said Russell Crowe? Oh, I lost it now. Yeah, Russell Crowe, dude. Yeah, I can see that. That's that's Darth Maul. Oh, dude! I, can you imagine if they announced that? It's like mm-hmm. enough with the space Vikings, bro. Yeah, let's give let's, us a... let's let's go hardcore. <laughs> give us that, dude. That's awesome. All right, so we <laughs> should we move to number three? <laughs> oh, what? 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 <sighs> Someone said James Charles as uh, Malgus. Yeah, I don't think that would work. Um. Anyways, yeah. What's the next one? All right. So for me, number three character that I want to see. So my number three was Darth Malgus. Yeah. So we both had that one. All right. So my so next one. So is it my one... turn now? Is it? Your... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go. Star Killer. Interesting. Hundred percent. Yeah. And then interesting. I get Sam, and we Sam have Whitworth. a boy play him, of course, right? Yeah. We'd have Sam Whitworth play him. We would hundred percent percent need Star Killer in there. Just to even yeah, like like cool. even if Disney were I don't know why even if Lucasfilm were to make a legends movie of different characters like just bring that to life you know yeah what a great movie that would be because you could have vader in there the emperor's in it yeah uh, and they could just be like, like you know what guys this isn't canon we're just making it dude they'd rake in millions of do- like billions of dollars and there would be a cool story and well, sure it doesn't fit into your timeline that's fine but but you know still make it Dude, and um, Sam Whitwar would put so much passion and love into it. Oh, no, I got it. I got Malgus. Someone just commented. Who? Uh, Dolph Lundgren. <sighs> Dude, his his pro, his profile right here is like, that's definitely Malgus. Yeah, so but is like, Russell Crowe. But, but Malgus is the general, dude. Malgus is the leader of the entire Sith army. Yeah. I think He'd like Dolph I wouldn't follow Dolph Lundgren down the street. You know what Why? I mean? Like, because, dude, like I don't know. I just don't trust the guy. Like, I mean, think about Gladiator, bro. Russell Crowe, like, 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 think about the beginning of Glad of Gladiator and oh, imagine right, that right. that it's was my favorite all movie Sith. of all time. Yeah. Yeah, and that's all Sith and okay. Malgus. You know. But uh, if Dolph dude. was Malgus, he'd just be like, if he dies, he <laughs> dies. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, dude, Russell Crowe is right, Russell Crowe, we're going for it. We're it, going for it. Right, it's Russell absolute Crow. perfection. If there's any artist out there, Danny man, DeVito. As as who? Malgus. No, no, Danny DeVito is Booba Frick or whatever the hell that character's name was. Babu Frick. Babu Frick. Dude, I love yeah, Danny. Dude, if, if there's any artist out there listening to this show, I'd love to see a rendition of, of Russell all of Crow. these characters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. all of them. But yeah. definitely Russell Crowe as Darth Malgus. Definitely would Danny be awesome. DeVito as Babu Frick. 
<laughs> Danny DeVito as Babu Frick. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, Joaquin Phoenix. You know what? Joaquin Phoenix would be an interesting casting for you know who? He'd Palpatine, a young Palpatine. Damn, he'd be great as a young Palpatine. He's just he's just not British. I was thinking a young Revan. Or, or not even young, but Revan. Nah, he's he's nah. Nah. He's he's too I don't want to say weird, but he plays weird characters. Like he plays these characters that are weird and he plays them so well. I feel like he these twisted like these characters who are shifty, you know what I mean? Like they're they're saying one thing but inside there's like so many different thoughts going on and they're like believing yeah, believe yeah, yeah. all of them. So he's more Bane like. He's more Bane like than he is like Revan. He's not, he's not Bane. He's 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 uh he's like a young Palpatine, dude. He's like a Yeah. Does he's just not British? He can I'm sure he's a great actor. He could he could fake it. You know, but the thing about Palpatine is that Palpatine's a little bit dainty. You know, you like like you look at him and you don't see You didn't see the Joker? And, he was of dainty as heck. Joker. Yeah, he was dainty as heck. Yeah, I mean, he's one of my favorite actors. Again, another he's guy great. from uh, from Gladiator. Uh, just an incredible performance. Um, all right, so my next one. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Benedict Cumberbatch's Grand Admiral Thrawn. Yes. That's perfection. That's, that's perfection. perfection right there. That's perfection. That's perfection. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, man, somebody... We we need to summarize these of all the perfect castings. So so someone make a uh, list. So Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy as Bane, right? We right. we agree on that. We one? agree on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Tom Hardy as Bane. Who was the next one? Mary Jade. Who's Mary Jade? Scarlet. I'm gonna go with Scarlet. No. Who's the Karen Gillum? Was that the one? I liked her. Something. Um, we don't have one for Mara Jade, all right? So we can we can revisit that because we don't have that one. Julie Andrews for Kreia. If can if Who's Cavill Kreia? could get angry, uh, he'd make a good Bane. Yeah, but not better than Tom Hardy. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Tom Hardy is one of the best actors in Hollywood, dude. In my opinion. I mean, Tom Hardy really? as Darth Bane. I think that, like, with the right love behind it, Dave Filoni producing it, you get a really badass director, maybe even a Ridley Scott. You know, actually, maybe not Ridley Scott. But you get a badass director in there. That could win some Oscars, bro. Someone, this is, said, I mean, someone said Johnny Depp's ex-wife. You mean, uh, oh, oh, that was like my teenage crush, dude, from Never Back Down. Oh, um, oh from Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a great call, um, dude. Um, yeah, yeah, from wow. Aquaman. What's her name? Dude, I've known her name all my life. What the hell? Uh, huh. uh dude, uh, somebody from the chat, hook us up. What's her name, dude? From the girl from uh, Aquaman. She's great in Never Aquaman. Back any any Never Back Down fans here? Um. God. We're just waiting for like the for like the live That's lag terrible. to kick in. So I they know, can... I know. Amber Heard, boom. Amber Heard. That's it. Should be Amber a, Heard be is good. Mara Jade. Should be. That's it. Mara That's Jade. a cast. Hundred yeah, percent. That's All right. done. So for the artist out there, Amber Amber Heard is Mara Jade. I'm down with that. Okay. Cast. Okay. If you All guys, right? if some artists want to make this out there, um, we'll we'll display them on the next week of Rule of Two. Uh, and then just email me or tag me on Instagram. I guess you could email me at, uh, don't, don't put my main email, put, um, let's do theory animations at gmail.com theory animations at gmail.com email them there. And then we'll, we'll showcase your art next week. It'll be fun. This is a fun stream. I like this. You guys having fun? Yeah, so look, I'm trying to do the summary here. So we got we got Amber Heard has been officially cast as Mara Jade. Okay. Okay? I, Tom I, I, Hardy wait, 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 wait. Been... I, I, I'm still feeling Scarlett Johansson, buddy. I'm still feeling... Too old, dude. Too old. I love Scarlett. I love Scarlett. I love Scarlett, man, but I think she's too old. She's too old. She's got to be like... I mean, dude, she was... Um, 
she was a you know basically a child blasphemy you know she was you know she was like the emperor's hand you know yeah but she did could, i wonder she could play if, her later in life like i wonder where the etymology of the concept of the hand comes from because i remember always hearing the emperor's hand the emperor's hand yeah and then game of thrones has the hand thing right yeah do you think George R. R. Martin that, took that from uh, no, that's from been, Timothy Zahn? No, nah, that's been that, throughout time. That's like a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. That's like a thing. Yeah. All right, dude. So we need to have consensus before the artists start going okay. about Amber. Heard. Is Amber Heard not not cast? Amber Heard or Scar? Okay, let's let's go Amber Heard. Let's go Amber Heard. Keanu Reeves Amber is Heard, Revan. Man. Wait, 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 wait. Keanu Reeves is Revan. Yeah, we already discussed this, dude. It's, it's done. Over Christian Bale? Yeah. Uh. Dude, but Christian Bale can, like... Yeah. Christian Bale can bring so much nuance and depth to the character. Because you got to remember, Darth Revan, for a large majority of his life, doesn't know who he is. You know what I mean? So it's like, you almost need somebody who yeah, can play that, two That was basically different... Neo. I think Keanu could pull yeah, it off. Yeah. Look, I love I love Keanu Reeves. Me too, man. Okay? Yeah, he's cool. I love Keanu Reeves, but Darth Revan is an Oscar type of role. Okay, that's an Academy Award level role, because like you are, it's basically the story of you chasing about a my murderer. Boy. Okay, you're chasing a murderer, and then you don't realize until the end that you are the murderer. Spoiler warning. Yeah. Okay, but but that's the story of Darth Revan. You know, that that his mind was completely wiped and his entire life becomes this search for this Darth okay, Revan. Okay, so guy so why don't we make it like him. why don't we make it like Fight Club where he sees himself as Keanu Reeves when he's the light side and then when he's the dark side he sees himself as Christian Bale. First of all, that's interesting. That's interesting. Hey, any of you Hollywood uh, writers out there, don't don't go stealing that. Credit me. <laughs> Dude, so you're saying that like throughout the entire movie, you see Darth Revan as Christian Bale. Yeah. But the character is played by Keanu. Yeah. That's interesting. And the whole time, even though I think Keanu's yeah. a lot taller than Christian Bale. Well, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Tyler Durden yeah. was was, I don't know. Was he yeah, him? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's a good call. Somebody just said Tom Hiddleston as a young Palpatine. I like that one. Yeah. That that's good casting. Yeah, that is. Yeah. That's good casting. All right, all right. So for the artist out there, so we went Amber Heard, Mara all right, Jade. Amber Heard, Mara Jade. Locked. Okay, locked. Okay, so um, yeah, the mod, put that up. Ma yeah, <laughs> Amber Heard, Mara Jade. Then we have. The second one we logged was Tom Hardy as Bane. Tom Hardy as Bane. Okay. Then okay. we got Russell Crowe as Malgus. Badass. Russell Crowe as Malgus. Let's throw Thrawn in there. We got Benedict Cumberbatch as Thrawn. Benedict Cumberbatch as Thrawn. Yeah, those are four great castings uh, right there. Uh, right? Sam Witwer as as Starkiller. Of course. Sam Witwer as, as, as Starkiller. I like Joaquin Phoenix's Revan, too, so I... I People keep saying that in the thing. That's good Keanu too. Reeves is Revan. It's good too. Somebody said um, uh, Chris Evans is Darth Rendar. Chris Pratt is Darth Rendar. Derek, you can't take. Come on. I'm not um, too familiar with the story of Darth Rendar. Imagine Scarlet watching this. Hi, Scar. Hey Scar, how are you, sweetie? It's good to see you. She's she's a great actor. I mean, she could she could really yeah. have some fun with that role. Yeah. It's too bad they already used Adam Driver. He's a great actor, man. He's it's a normal. great actor. Next level. Look, um, in my list, there's only two more in my list that we haven't talked about. Okay. Okay. That's Talk about. Darth. Um, that's Darth Plagueis as yep. my number one character that I want to see on screen. Yep. And then my number two character I want to see on screen is Asajj Ventress. Yep. Okay. Then I'm gonna throw Quinlan you know? Boss into the mix. 
It's your yeah. boy Quinlan. Well, technically, we have seen him. Yeah, but we saw him, but like no one really ever knew about that. Right, right. We saw him for like a split second. Like a second, dude. He's in the Phantom Menace in, in the very beginning with Anakin when Anakin is uh, saving uh, Jar Jar from getting his, his nose wiped by uh, Sebulba. Right, right. You see, see him, him for like a background. split second. Yeah. It's like, what the hell so are, you, technically, what are you doing here, Quinlan? Like, how'd you get out? Why didn't, why didn't they just team up with Quinlan and be like, dude, get us, get us back to the Jedi Temple. Like, we don't have to worry about this, getting our parts for the ship. Because I guess they didn't know, right? Maybe he was there They didn't know that it was mission. him. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, how did they not know that he was there? Maybe they, he had to remain, I don't know, he was on a secret mission. He couldn't, maybe he was infiltrating the, the huts or something and... Everyone thought he's a gangster, but he couldn't couldn't be like, "Hey, Qui Gon, what up, man? Yeah, I'm a Jedi too. Oh yeah, oh, sorry. No, I'm no, I'm a gangster. It's cool." Right, maybe, right. Maybe, he's maybe, like maybe undercover. That, yeah, maybe. He's undercover with the huts. Who knows? Fastbender is Thrawn is pretty good too. Nah, Benedict, dude. Benedict, 100%. Benedict is better, Who right? Play Plagueis. Well, see, Plagueis, Plagueis Circus? is immune. Andy Serkis? Plagueis is a... Yeah, because he's immune, right? And, like, that's a weird-looking species. It's probably CGI. So, yeah, probably Andy Serkis again. Oh, oh, you know who could play Plagueis and probably do a really nice job with him? Hmm. Um, is that guy who uh, plays... Um, in that Guillermo del Toro movie, he plays, like, the fish man. Um, he's also in, like, the new Star Trek Discovery... He's like this really tall, lanky guy. He's very famous for playing like all these weird creatures. Oh, you're talking about the dude from Logan. No, 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 no. Not that dude. The not bald that dude, dude who couldn't see the sun. No, but that's an interesting one. It's not bad. That's the guy from The Office. That's that's yeah, one right. of the original creators of The Office. Right, yeah. Um, I forget his name. Uh, Merchant. Stephen Merchant. But he's tall. He's tall and, and lanky. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me see. What let me Kareem get this Jabbar as, as Plagueis. Discovery. What about Snoke as Plagueis? I mean, I thought Snoke was Plagueis. Yeah, me too. He probably was supposed to be. Um, Michael Doug Keaton Jones. as Quinlan Voss. No, man, you need a Native American to play Quinlan Voss. 100%. Doug Jones. Doug Jones is the character, is the guy I'm talking about. Who's a famous Native American actor? I don't know. I'd have to do a little research. Um, yeah, Doug Jones. I think Doug Jones would be an interesting, um, an interesting, uh, a, a Plagueis. You know, he's, he's really good with those weird, um, uh, like, like creature type things. You know, he's similar to Andy Serkis that way. Okay. You know, Doug Jones. You know who I'm talking about? No. Yeah. That's um, why I said okay. I didn't say, yep. <laughs> have you ever seen The Shape of Water? No. But you heard about it, right? No. It won the Oscar for Best Picture a few years ago? No. Directed by Guillermo del Toro. Do you know that Guillermo del Toro actually was hired to do a Star Wars movie and then he dropped out of it? What else is new? Who else hasn't yeah. dropped out of a Star Wars movie? <laughs> been fired yeah yeah doug jones um who would play asajj ventress that's a good question yeah that's a good one. Oh, oh, um millie bobby brown is asajj that's actually not a bad one no The girl that they cast as Catwoman um, is pretty oh, good. Oh, Anne Hathaway. No, 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 no. Uh, the, it, oh, what was her name? The new Catwoman. The new Catwoman. Um, the Matt Reeves Catwoman. No, I'm thinking. Uh... Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz would be a great Asajj Ventress. I don't know who that is. Zoe Saldana. Yeah, Zoe. Kra Zoe Kravitz. Oh God! The what? Someone said something that was funny. Angelina Jolie. 
No, too old. Yeah. Lupita. Lupita could be a... <laughs> what? Tell me, dude. I want to laugh, too. Lupita could be a good Asajj Ventress, also. These comments, dude, they're just... it's too funny, man. Tell me, tell me, tell oh, me. I love the God. comments. The first one was was James Charles. <laughs> the second one was Amber Rose. <sighs> Amber Rose is Asajj? Who was the girl in uh, Mad Max? Charlize Theron. There's your Asajj. Yeah, but um, Lenny, uh, uh, Zoe Kravitz is also in Mad Max. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz? Yeah, she's Lenny Kravitz's uh, daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she's good, man. She she's in the new uh, Matt Reeves Batman. She plays a uh, Catwoman, um, but she she could be a good Asajj. I think for Asajj, you need somebody very slender who's very athletic. You need someone slender who is a- athletic and also just like looks like they could take a dude down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say. Uh, Gina Carano, but I feel like she's almost too jacked no. to play Asajj. Asajj too jacked. Asajj, Asajj is super thin. Yeah, she's got like no curves. Yeah, she's like really tiny, like like really slender, you know? She's like, yeah. uh, she's like a snake. You know, like Asajj yeah, Ventress is. is like a viper. She's like a, you know, yeah. she's like a yeah, snake. Yeah, yeah. Cardi B. <laughs> 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 oh God, Shrek. Yeah. Lupita Nyong'o? No. You know who would be cool somewhere well, in, in, in this new... Jacked. Maisie Williams could be an interesting cast in our Star Wars universe. I like her, man. She's like a good actor. Too, yeah. She's a where, good actor. She could play she somebody. Fit? She'd be cool. Yeah, I like her. Um, she could be Asajj. Shave her she head? Might be yeah. Able to... Yeah, she might be able to play Asajj, man. Kind of like a more stocky, like little Asajj, but she's like, yeah. like, still viperish. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, they, Hugh Jackman's like what, like six foot something, and and Wolverine's supposed to be like what, five four? Right, right. And like right. two hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah, Maisie Williams as Asajj is actually a cool casting. Tom and she bring a, a young lot. Palpatine. No, man. No. Actually, that's not bad, dude. I like that one. Who said that one? I like Tom Holland as a young Palpatine. You don't like that? No. I gotta finish that book. What book? Uh, the Darth Plagueis book. Okay. I'm like, have you ever read that book? Batman, Karen. Yes. Karen. So Nebula. like, I'm at the part. Oh, where he's like Nebula tra- from the MCU. As Asajj. Yeah, that. What, what, what's the, yeah, that's a good one. What's the she name was, of that actor? She, she was in. Uh, she was in um, the Jungle Jungle movie. Um, Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah, the new one. Kim K is Ventress. God. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> yes, I. The what? Uh, just like listing dumb names now. Um, Kevin Hart Dude, as Jar imagine- Jar Binks. Yeah, I can see that. Miley Cyrus as Ventress. Dave Bautista as. No, nah, there's Binks. only dude. There's only one. There's only one Jar Jar man. There's only one Jar Jar. Yeah, I'm at best. Yeah. Ellen is Plagueis. That's actually pretty good. No, Mark. Sorry, Keanu Reeves would be way better Revan than Bale. Also, love never back down. Nice dude. Keanu, he's just good at being bad, and he's tall. Robert Downey Jr. as Thrawn. <laughs> no way. Scarlet as... Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is a perfect Thrawn. That's the perfect Thrawn. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's almost like like that character was written for... Karen Benedict Gillen as Asajj Ventress or Charlie Theron. Who's Karen Gillen? Gillian. Karen Gillen is the one that we wanted for... Mara? Um, for Mara Jade like two okay. weeks ago, yeah. Hugo Weaver for The Matrix would be perfect for Malgus. From The Matrix, Hugo Weaver. Hugo Weaving. That's actually a really good one. Who's that? Hugo Weaving, uh, Agent, uh, Agent Smith. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, but he's not better than Russell Crowe, dude. No. 
Bruce Willis. Because like Malgus, because Malgus is a general. Malgus is like also leads his troops into battle. Yeah. You know, and like that's a big part of who Malgus is. How would you weave Starkiller into the current canon? Just the same I story. The this, they, yeah, the, the, yeah, the way they did it. Yeah, the way they did it, man. Was uh, that? Yeah, Ghibli. My Discord's down, man. What happened to it? Yeah, I took it down. Got a little dramatic in there. Yeah. Can literally anyone tell me why Ahsoka wasn't introduced in the sequel trilogy to train Rey? Yeah. I don't know. I got a lot of I got a lot of questions. We're yeah. So we're, I mean, we're still waiting to see if Ryan Johnson has time to come on the show. Yeah, like I don't want to start talking about the sequels again because it always leads us down a dark path that I, you know, that I cannot follow. Yeah, I know. You know. Yeah. Andrew Garfield as Andrew. You took Garfield. the sequels from me. Robert Downey would be perfect to play Grand Admiral Thrawn. No. More than more than Benedict Cumberbatch, though? I don't think so. Voldemort? Viggo Mortensen. Viggo Mortensen could... Actually, he'd be a great Revan. He'd be a great Revan, because Revan is like the hero who actually reveals come, himself to be the villain. How come he looks so different now? Who, Hugo uh, uh, yeah. Mortensen? Yeah, Viggo Mortensen, yeah. Viggo Mortensen, because he's gotten older, right? I guess. Sinead, Sinead O'Connor is a Saj Ventress. That's funny. Who's that? Uh, dude, God, you're that you're that young, huh? Sinead O'Connor is a very famous singer from like the nineties. Okay, well, I was born in nineteen nineties, I guess. Yeah. Anakin in his prime versus Star Killer in his prime. Uh well, Star Killer apparently was supposed to be Luke's max level. You seem down, Star Wars Theory. No, dude, I'm chill. Your thoughts betray you, Darth Gary. <laughs> no, man, yeah, people uh, people say that in the comments a lot, that that, that you look depressed. <laughs> and you're not depressed. It's you're, just my you're face. Just you know what? I've gotten that my whole life from my parents or people. or just They're just like, why do you look pissed off all the time? And it's like, God damn it, people, leave me alone. It's just my face the way I was born. That's how my bones are set, and it just makes my face look like that. Oh, God. Yeah, anyway, so... Um, are we going to make a rule of two shirt? Yes. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, yeah. I want one. How many of you would actually buy one before I invest a whole bunch of cash into my artist to make make a shirt? People actually, always so, do this. They're always artists... like, oh, we want this, and then I'll, 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 spend, I'll spend the cheese, and then it's like... So look, back at back at Collider, we did one that sold out in like two weeks, and um, we did the one where it's like a limited run that you don't have to pay for the shirts. Um, in terms of the upfront, you know what I mean? Like you do like a limited run. Anyway, we we can talk offline about it, but oh, there's yeah, ways like to I do it for yeah, okay. Yeah, like I forget what the name of the company is. Teespring? No, not Teespring. Yeah, um, I work with Teespring. I forget what the name of the company is, but anyway. Andrew Garfield. Huh. That's who? I don't know. Somebody just said Andrew Garfield. I like him <laughs> as an actor. Literally, somebody just said Andrew Garfield. Gregory, your face is gorgeous, baby girl. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I like no, Tom I just, Hall. I just, you know how women have that that resting B face. I, I have the resting. Yeah, yeah I got the resting D face for men. <laughs> That's what I've come to terms with. Takashi <laughs> six nine is job of the hut. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's gonna get his blicky. Well, Karen Gillan is never is Nebula. Takashi. Is she? Oh, is she? Ahsoka movie. We must have one. Prime Universe says I'm eleven from New York City. I want to thank you for making me feel better during this pandemic. And Keanu as Revan, I'm writing a Vader and Starkiller novel tips. Uh, yeah, just try to think as the characters would. Not as you would. Or not as you, what you would want them to be. Yeah, Karen Gillan does play uh, 
does play Nebula. Robin Williams would have been a good C three PO. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's funny. That's funny. Toby Maguire as could... Sidious Young. Mm. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. Doctor <laughs> Doctor Phil is Plagueis. Oh God. Uh, if Would Plagueis you... book isn't canon, then what's canon about Plagueis, and where and how can I buy those posters behind you? Oh, yeah, the, ca the Plagueis book is not canon, um, but the cool thing about the Plagueis book is that it was written before Disney acquired Star Wars. I th I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, those were specials from uh, the posters of episode one for my fan film. And uh, I sell them. I don't sell the one with the, the IP from uh, Lucasfilm on it with, with Vader because I can't. But um, this one is just – it's literally just a picture of me in makeup. And I, I take the, the verbiage off of it, the IP verbiage, and it's just, it's just me then. So, yeah, any, any IP that – uh, is copyrighted. Yeah. Get off. It's just, it's just you uh, strapped up. It's me with no, no arms. Strapped up shirtless with a mask and burnt. <laughs> I'm sure there's an audience for that. And people hanging up. Yeah, I, I do. I sold a lot of those actually. I have it on Teespring. Oh, it's a. First of all, it's a great. First of all, it's a great. Um, it's a great picture. It is, uh, yeah. It's also your logo, right? For your. Uh, it is, yeah. For your channel? It's my face, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, so the inspiration behind that was. Well, I mean Vader, of course, but um, Malgus. I think he's with the mask. So the mask yeah. looks, looks very different. That's an inspiration behind it. Darth Malgus. Darth Malik is cool too. He is, yeah. He got his jaw taken off, but yeah, Danny DeVito yeah. as a Sage. No. The <laughs> Sage is a is one of my favorite. Who would play the clones in instead of Tamura? Tamura. Oh, like a young clone? Like in his 30s? I don't know. That's a good question. It You'd have to question. cast that. You'd have to go out there and cast that. Have you seen um, uh, uh, Bad Boys for Life? No, but I want to. It's cool, man. I saw it on the plane on the way over here yesterday. Was it good? Um, yeah, there's a character in there. I'm not going to give it because it's a spoiler, but there's a character in, in the movie who I think would be great as a young clone. So, so what do you think? Uh, do you think uh, Tamura is coming back to play Boba Fett and Rex? I think so, yeah. yeah I, think I think it's so more too. so Rex than, than Boba, but uh, I, I think it's Boba. It could be Boba as well. I could see that how that would happen. But the announcement said it's Boba, though, right? I mean, because it sounds like it would be Rex. Yeah, I guess. But also people run with you know what they hear. It's like, oh, Tamura? Oh, who, who did he play? Django? Okay, so he's Boba. But it's like... Those are just the headline marketing guys that write these uh, write these headlines for these websites, but they don't really know Star Wars. I feel like. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they actually know it properly. Like like that thing we saw yesterday that I tweeted about. What the uh, the Anakin thing? No. No, the Clone Wars thing, the disrespectful thing that uh, who did who, what they say? IGN wrote. Yeah. How the Clone Wars redeemed the prequel trilogy, showing us the era as it was meant to be. It's like, no, dude. The era was the way it was. And and the if you George listen to Dave Filoni, yeah. yeah, it's just like, it's it, you know, it's it's beautiful, man. Like, yeah. And I commented under it. So you guys would you would you part. have rather seen Leo DiCaprio play Anakin than Hayden? No. Hayden's the guy, man. Did you see my weird video that I made of Hayden? I did, of, yeah. Uh, I, I covered DiCaprio? it. I reacted to it, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Cool. It's yeah. a little bit... I Look, I love Hayden. I love Hayden. Taylor Lautner is, is such... a young clone. I could see that. Yeah, I yeah, could see that. Yeah, he's, he's got that Polynesian look. Yeah, he's got, it's a New Zealand kind of look. I can see that. I can see that. Um... Yeah, let's open it up for more questions. We only got about seven, eight minutes left here. Let's get some more questions cooking. Jeez, that was fast. Jason Isaac for Thrawn. 
That's a good one. That's actually a really good one. It's not better than Benedict Cumberbatch, but I like that. I like that Jason Isaacs. He's good. He's also in Star Trek Discovery. Johnny Sean Cruz Bean is... as Quinlan Voss. Who's Johnny Cruz? I don't know who that is. Johnny Cruz. <laughs> this sounds like an adult film star name. I hope that's not what, what it is. Well, we're getting some some spam thrown in here from with some adult film star names, so I hope that's not one of them. I legitimately thought that was a actor. Anyways, hi, service. Theory. We love your channel. Keep up your great work. My top five characters I want to see: Ahsoka, Tano, Ezra Bridger, Cal Kestis, Mace Windu, and Darth Revan. Cal and Ahsoka, of course, but I, th I feel like we're gonna get them. At least they're in canon, you know. Which ones? Cal and who? Cal and Ahsoka. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I think we'll get. Be good one. Know, Thank man. you, like... man. That's very generous of you, dude. Josh Bing says, I wish they kept some EU stuff somewhat canon as stories. How Luke mentions a war with the Yuzon Vong in a sentence and etc. Allude to the material as legends. He could say happened, but not from that point of view. Maybe Rick... Ricardo as boss? I mean, what, R Ricardo Mios? Did you see Mark Hamill's uh, uh, Instagram post and tweet uh, yeah, was, yesterday? Yeah, it was. About the all or, the, the the caretakers. No, two days ago. No, two days ago. No. He said, "May the ninth be the last time I ever play Luke Skywalker." No. Did you see that? No. It was the first time that I officially heard him say he's completely done. And it's sad, man. It's like Luke Skywalker. Look, this is the last thing I'll say about this last Jedi stuff. Okay, I'm not going to talk. Go into May it. May the much. ninth be a bittersweet episode, knowing it was the last time I would ever play Luke. Yeah, but you didn't play. I Luke. mean, dude, Luke. Luke the Skywalker. The last time I played Luke was Episode Six. Luke Skywalker was my favorite character growing up. He embodied everything that I wanted to be like, and for us to wait all this time and to get what we got, and for. Even him to feel like he got totally done ugly. I don't think it's the last time he'll play Luke, man. I think somehow he's going to play Luke again. Somehow, some way. Maybe as a cartoon, as a voiceover, you know? Like, think about it, man. With all the technology that we have today, look, think about how good the Clone Wars last four episodes looked. You know, wouldn't you want to see a movie that takes place right after Return of the Jedi done by Lucasfilm Animation. I just left a cheeky comment. What'd you say? It's going to start a shitstorm. The last time you played Luke was when you saved your father in 6. Love you, Mark. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, do you speak the truth? I do speak the truth. I speak my mind. I don't, I don't hold back. This is the way. If I don't get free copies of Fallen Order, I guess that's why. This is the Can't way. Complain. Did you see the new Captain Rex hot toy? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks cool. Sorry, Mark. I cut you off. What were you saying? Um, Something that wouldn't it be awesome? Lucasfilm? Yeah, to see a Lucasfilm animation piece that takes place right after Return of the Jedi with Luke Skywalker rebuilding the Jedi Order. You know, that's what we wanted. That's what we all deserved. Well, yeah, know? that's that's what I, that's what I wanted Episode Seven to be. When I found out they're making Episode Seven, I'm like, oh my god! Like I remember telling my parents, be like, oh my god! Like Disney just bought it. Like they're gonna take, they're gonna make Episode Seven. It's gonna be amazing. Because I was a huge Disney fan. It's all I loved all their movies growing up and everything. And I was like, this is like they they got the money. Like George gave it to them. Blah blah blah. He knows what he's doing. They're gonna make Luke after Episode Six. But they didn't. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to they talk wanted, about this again. It just makes me mad. Yeah, yeah. They wanted to placate to the same, and, I, and I'm and i sorry, I'm going to say this out loud, the same F-boys that wrote that article for IGN that all had, you know, that all yeah. thought yeah. that, you know, the prequels wasn't what they wanted, so they wanted to placate to those people, and they ruined it, you know, and now we got this. Well, be, well yeah, I'm not going to go into this again. Yeah. In a Plagueis Palps film, I imagine she as just being this cold, asexual, distant teenager that doesn't show any joy until he kills his family. Yeah, it's pretty much it. 
Babu Babu Frick. Do you think do you think Palpatine ever got down? Down with what? You know. Got any girls. Well like Palps? Yeah. Or do you think he was I mean, asexual? It's canon that he did. What? He's got no. a he's got a son. No, that was his clone. The son was his clone? Yeah. No. Yes. Oh, because of the novelization? Yeah. I don't know, dude. What do you mean you don't know? It says it right there. In the movie, in the movie, it doesn't seem like he's a clone. The movie doesn't explain half the stuff the book does. Fine, but like, dude, like, you know what my feelings are with these novelizations? Like, you shouldn't need a novelization to explain to you what the hell's going on in the movie. You well, know, but I hear you. Sure, yeah, I know, I, I get that. But also, there's so much stuff that they can only put in the movie, yeah. So it's like the novels are cool because there's all these little. So what in the in the book, his son is a direct clone of him. He's a direct clone because they were cloning him to to find a good vessel that was force sensitive and that he could you know fly into. But the son, spirit. but the son did not end up force sensitive. No, they said the son was a perfectly working, uh, defective clone. He couldn't use the force. But how come there's only one? Because he was perfectly nor like he he was functioning as a human, but he was a, a, a he couldn't use the force. He was defective. But he had a bunch of different clones. Yeah, they tried cloning. Because, him. They tried cloning. Because him. in Dark Empire, in Dark Empire, cloning Palpatine makes a lot of sense. You know, in the old Dark Horse, uh, 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 you know, graphic novel series. Yeah, but, but but that's exactly what they did. But they just had such a hard time with cloning an effective force sensitive palpatine but no it's not exactly what they did because in in dark empire they had clones restrained in a facility that they couldn't leave this clone is hanging out living in some finding weird a wife yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah dude it's not it's nothing like having what a they kid. did in dark yeah, yeah. <laughs> having a family and like yeah. being afraid of the troopers it's nothing like what they did in dark empire yeah, yeah. like the Dark Empire clones were machines. They were like vats. They were the vats of these clones of Palpatine. They yeah. were just chilling there yeah. waiting for him to transfer his essence into. Exactly. That makes sense. Some guy who hangs out, like, who's probably, like, works at the local bar as, like, a barista, you know, is... Ooh, uh, Ray Park is the son. I mean, probably Sam Witwer is the son, but Ray Park is the son would be cool. The son of Mortis? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I think Whitworth could be good for that too. Actually, I want to see Whitworth take a lead in a Star Wars movie, only because of how much passion he would put into it. He'd kill it. He'd kill that role, man. He'd do so well. Um, look, we're looking for things to do in our next episode. Um, if you guys want to see us stream Star Wars: The Old Republic for our <laughs> next episode, hit one. If you want to see Battlefield, or I'm sorry, Battlefront 2, hit 2. Oprah as the new Finn, says Jesse. Ahsoka movie, we must have one. Prime Universe, thank you, buddy. Robin Williams, if Plagueis book isn't canon, then what's canon about Plagueis? Where can you buy the posters behind you? Teespring, link below. Canon about Plagueis is that, um, uh, you know, he's, he's disgust in Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Hey, Star Wars 3, we love your videos. Keep up the great work. Uh, all right, okay, we've, we've been through a few of these. It keeps jumping all over the place, and I swear I've missed some super chats that I feel bad about. What's chat saying? Lots of twos. I just don't love a Battlefront, um, but I'm down to play it. It's just it's not an easy game to play. Like, to play the heroes, the heroes don't don't feel super... I don't know. Yeah. We can do 1v1 and just, like, fight each other. I'd kill you. <laughs> oh, dude, maybe I'd kill you. You'd you... die. <laughs> Look, Battlefront, I haven't really played it a lot, so you might kill me. But um... I don't play it at all, man. Yeah. We could do a private server. We could host a private server and just have people from the chat 
you know, maybe to your subscribers, yeah. you know, maybe if you have a green name, you can log into yeah, the, uh, log into this private server. Yeah, we could do that. Cool. Why did I just take well, a bite out of, my, out of my old apple? Now I have to chew this. Yeah, we should play Galaxies, dude. That's what we should really play, bro. We should actually play that. Now, now that I'm back in Cali, I have it installed. You should install it, dude. Thanks, Mace. Yeah. We can go build a lightsaber together, man. What about Hondo and Naka being played by Taika Waititi? Also, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, that, like that. that's a good one. That's a really good one. In theory, after you're done I playing like Vader, you could pull off a Darth Malgus. Yeah. Well, I got to pull off playing Vader in, in this next one here. What? What do you think happened to Ezra? In the canned Lucas Star Wars show, Palps got done dirty by a woman he loved. Story by Lucas. Yeah, I covered that in the video. It was just, um, apparently, apparently, okay, so apparently, the Mandalorian show, which was supposed to be the underworld show that George Lucas had created, like, 50 episodes for, or whatever, um, or scripts, uh, Palpatine's backstory was supposed to be developed, and apparently... He fell in love with a woman and she left him and that really drove him over the edge and put him into the dark side indefinitely, which I didn't like. I thought that I thought that's kind of lame. Humanizes Palpatine too much. Mm. Hey, Roya. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be streaming on the gaming channel tonight, guys. Do you guys believe the theory that since George Lucas had all merchandising rights... That Disney under Kathleen Kennedy purposefully killed off OG characters and the whole thing with the Galaxy's Edge not having OG as well. I 100% think that it's a theory, but I have believed that since the very beginning. I've just never really talked about it. I um I there is no proof that I've been able to find about it. It it actually makes no sense in a way that they would make a deal for four billion dollars that had ongoing residuals like that on certain characters and not others but again it's there is no proof one way or the other so it might be look it, it's a good explanation as to why they bought the most powerful franchise in the history of entertainment media and stopped using all of its core characters you know <laughs> which is like it's like it's like i buy a ferrari and i'm like you know what let's let's just like I don't know. Let, let's like instead of riding on the like instead of driving the car from the inside, let's drive the car from the hood. You know, let's get like a string and try to no, steer it. No, it. it's like it's like you know what? Uh, here's I just bought a Ferrari. I'm gonna now put a body kit of a of a I don't know like a 1940 what? Like, yeah, man. It's like I used to I'll stay a, in Rule of Two for like years. A, nothing against Honda Civics, but let me put a Honda Civic body kit on it, just like a regular stock 1990. Yeah, it's like buying the McDonald's biggest sleeper car in the world, but that, yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah, it's like buying McDonald's and then you stop serving the Big Mac. You know, it's like there's no. It's like it buying makes McDonald's no and, and changing the whole menu. Right. Yeah, it makes no sense, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, we've been did going you, for sixty-seven you, minutes. Did you see? Uh, um, this reminds me of of everyone going after Sam Whitwer for what he said on his gaming stream. About um, uh, just it's like his own input on on what Ryan Johnson had to say or what Ryan right. Johnson wrote for the Last Jedi, and I I feel like we could talk about that for a little bit before we end because um, even though I don't know Sam so Whitworth very the personally, record, I I think for, for he's the a record cool guy. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. Um, he would, I'll tell you he was very cordial. He just he said I think you know Episode Eight was made by a guy that. Uh, just didn't do all of their Star Wars homework, but at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of the reasons people love The Last Jedi is because um, of of Brian Johnson's new approach to it. And if we didn't have people like Ryan Johnson, then Star Wars would die because we would we would need people at bat. And my rebuttal to that is, well, we can have people at bat, but we can have people who are qualified and who understand Star Wars, like you know, Dave Filoni, John Favreau, even. Um, Taika Waititi, who, you know, all, all these guys who are making such a phenomenal job with The Mandalorian, but I just feel like, you know, it's not that we need people at bat. We need the right people at bat. 
And in my opinion, you know, I understand he's in a, a very high position at Lucasfilm and, and as an actor. And, you know, he's got to be careful with his words. But I don't have to be. So I think Ryan Johnson was definitely the wrong person for that. Um, as talented as he may be in his other movies, I think, you know, we need someone qualified who understands the, the mythology and the lore and these characters and all that. And then he went on to explain the ins and outs and the details of why Luke wouldn't do this, why Luke wouldn't do that. And if you're going to change a character in between two major movies, you shouldn't. You should do that in a movie, within one of the movies at least, so that people aren't confused. Like, how do you go from this Luke Skywalker that, you know, literally put his life on the line to save his father, and then this Luke Skywalker who was going to kill his nephew in his sleep? Like, those are two completely different Lukes. That yeah, of course. You know, you know look, and, and dealing, we've dealing talked with about a, this. Th yeah, dealing. He said dealing with a dark side nephew is nothing compared to dealing with Darth Vader. Absolutely, dude. It's a look. We all we all know how we feel about these movies, but let me tell you how I feel about Sam Witwer real quick. Sam Witwer is my hero when it comes to Star Wars fandom. Um, I've gotten the pleasure to meet Sam a few times. He was he came on Rule of Two, um, and um, go check out that episode. It was a lot of fun hanging out with him and chatting with him. I wish it could have gone longer. Sam Witwer can do no wrong for me as a Star Wars fan. You know, I look up to the guy, so because I know the passion and the hard work that he does going into being a Star Wars fan. There's a lot of people that make fun of me. Oh, you don't know this character's name. You don't know that character's name. I don't. I don't I I don't know every character's name. I yeah. love friggin' Star Wars and that's never going to change whether I know all the names or not. That doesn't mean that I don't absolutely live and breathe Star Wars and have it affect my life. That's right. At a deep deeply rooted level. And yeah. you and I are good friends. You yeah. know what Star Wars means to me and how yeah. it affects my life. Yeah. Now you have a guy like Sam Witwer who does know every single name yeah, and who, and who does have it affect his life. Yeah. And he is the ultimate star Wars f fan creator. I mean, he's, he's one of my heroes when it comes to the whole yeah. contributors. So if Sam Witwer has an opinion about something, I'm going to listen to it yeah. and I'm going to take it very, very, very seriously because I know he's not saying it off the cuff. No. I'll say things off the cuff. It, like he, from a yeah. gut level, he's, he's not saying that, it for for hate reasons. He's not saying it for views. He's not saying it for uh, to be part of a clique. He's saying it because he's inside of it and he knows it. So when he yes. says something, we're all ears, you know. So I, Sam, I, yeah, Sam's I, the man, dude, and I, I can't don't appreciate wait. all I, these little haters going in there and 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 you know talking trash to him or whatever. It's like he's entitled to his opinion, just as those who like the Last Jedi are entitled to theirs. Absolutely. And and Sam Witwer absolutely, I know for a fact, loves Star Wars. And, you know, I can't wait to get him on the show again, man. Like, once this whole corona stuff dies down, I know that he'll be game to come back on the show. And I, I can't wait to talk more Star Wars with that dude. That'd be cool. That'd be nice. And that's all I wanted to say about that, really. Leave Sam yeah. Witwer alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> you come to me. Yeah. Yeah. Jason and Momoa he's, is he's Quinlan Voss. Killer. There we go. Jason Momoa is Quinlan Voss. No way. That'd be cool. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, man. That's 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 the one. I like that. One. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, man. For all the artists out there, again, man, like do do some of these mock ups up, man. Let's see them and we'll feature them on the next rule of two. Yeah, tag me on IG. I'll share them on IG and tag me uh uh, send an email to uh, theoryanimations at gmail dot com. So, Margot Robbie as Mara Jade. No. It's interesting. It's interesting. interesting. She's yeah. a good actor, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ian let's McKellen go. Cod as the father. Yeah, I'm gonna go stream. All right. Uh, sorry if I didn't get to all the super chats. Uh. Star Wars story, Gonk Droid movie, Gonk and Chat, Cod or Gears. That's uh, Gears. You should play Empire at War against each other. That'd be fun. We should play Empire look, at War against each other. Look, there's. Oh, first of all, I'm really good at that game. I would. 
I would take your your meaningless little fleet and and send it. I First suck. of all, that's a really old game. You're talking about the old RTS game? Yeah, dude. I I love yeah, that. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, game. it's a great game. I used to play. Dude, we got 1,400 people in the chat right now. Yeah, I we had 1,800 every... before. Fine, but I want every single person to please tweet at Sam and say, "Hey, Sam, we love you." We want you back on Rule of Two, man. Don't do that. We want him back on the show, man. Like, that, let's man. let's get him back on the show. He's let's let him know. Annoyed. He's gonna get annoyed. He's gonna like, no, he's, he's, and be like he loves the fandom. He loves the fandom. Yeah. All right, fine. Maybe. Yeah. You think yeah, he's gonna get annoyed? I think mean, he's gonna get annoyed. I, I I don't know. I yeah. I don't know. We're 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 afraid of him. No, we're, we're not afraid of him. Sam I Witter, just I'm just very respectful of, of of these people's uh, spaces. I don't want to be yeah, that means, guy, you know what I mean? Like, what about Whitworth as uh, as Darth Bane? No, I can see it. I can see it. No, he plays too many people already, though. No, he wouldn't be Darth Bane. We need someone with more of a filled out face, more, more Tom Hardy esque. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Giblex Gaming said that he sent in a super chat and, and, and we didn't get to it. Do, I'm sure I didn't you get see too it? many. I'm sorry, man. Giblex Gaming, I. Let me see here. I was expecting Kenobi. Why are you here? What's his avatar look like? Uh, I have no idea, dude. I just forgot the name already. So. Giblix Gaming. Giblix. Oh, here we go. Hello there. I got the Emperor Perks. I, I read yours, man. We You're not listening. Hello there. I got the Emperor <laughs> Perks back on your page, but I haven't been contacted about anything, and your Discord link isn't working. Uh, uh, yeah, a few people have the Emperor Perks pack, bro. Uh, I just haven't gamed with you guys because... I really don't have an excuse um, because I game with you guys all on the gaming channel, to be honest. So everyone just kind of comes over there and I game with uh, viewers, I game with fans, I game with friends, and all of you are entitled to join if you so wish. So we do battle what is streams. It? What is it? What are you talking about? So one of, one of the perks on my join category is that I'll game with you guys. And so oh, I, I pretty see. much forgot about it because all the people that are part of that go to my gaming channel and they're always on the streams, the live streams, and then we always game. They're like, hey, let's game some COD. So then I invite them in or they add me as a friend and then we play there. Oh, so, cool. Sorry, man. Yeah, I mean, if you want to join the gaming channel uh, and the Discord link, I took it down because Brie of Larson some very is serious things. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, we can. I could probably do a private one just for all Emperor perk packs from the join channel. We could do that. Even though it's, I do it on the game channel already, but yeah, I'd be done. All right, man. Well, dude, I, we keep uh, saying we're gonna make sixty-minute shows, and we always go eighty. So that's that's because we love the fans. Yeah, it's fun talking, man. Mark Strong is Darth Bane. I don't know who that is. Well, look, well, I think we need to see Qui Gon return. So, anyways, we'll see what happens. Make those, make those. Even if you're not a great artist, just make the drawings. We'll we'll just talk about them and post them, and it'll be fun. Yo, bro, you gotta yeah. make a Star Wars: The Old Republic Sith Guild. Sure, Giblix Gaming. Thank you. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, I I didn't get to it. All right, we'll catch you guys in next week's video, next week's podcast. And uh, yeah, Mark, you got anything else to say before we? You look at him getting. I'm getting just poised, waiting. He's getting poised. Yeah, I'm getting un poised. Go un for it. Until then, my friends, rise. Are you, you going to do it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>